often people say that freedom of speech is under threat. Um, but of course, freedom of speech must always be limited in a civilized society. There must be limits on what people are allowed to say. Um, the question is, of course, what those limits are. Often, a controversy about freedom of speech is actually a controversy about something else. Uh, it's, a, it's not a controversy about whether such a thing, a certain thing can be said, but the rightness or wrongness of what is being talked about. So, for example, those people who object to the production of pornographic material uh, are not objecting to the pornographer's freedom of speech to produce such a thing, they're objecting to the production of the material itself. So in that sense, debates about freedom of speech are often debates about something else. But I think there is a deeper problem, which is freedom of thought, because limitations on what we can say inevitably erode what we can think. This is because what we can think depends on the concepts that we have. And the concepts that we have arise out of the words that we have. So if we are prohibited from using certain words, if saying certain things is, is cancelled or considered to be wrong think or, or, um, um, or a thought crime, then inevitably the range of things that it will be possible to think will gradually decrease. And this is a bad thing for a free society and this is a bad thing for human progress. The reason why freedom of speech must be protected is because we must protect the freedom of thought. We must protect the capacity and the freedom to think whatever we want, no matter how controversial or complex or bad that might be.